You better get the fuck out of here and take your bitches with you, especially Ugg Mug here. Come on. Come on. Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the hypocrisy of your average Tyler the Creator fan. Now, this is a topic I've been thinking about for a few weeks and I thought it would make for some good discussion. So to start things off, I'd like to preface by saying that I'm a huge Tyler the Creator fan myself. I've been listening to his music since the early days of Odd Future. I remember back in middle school, my best friend showed me his mixtape Bastard. At first I hated his music, but over time it really grew on me. I also started watching some of his interviews, and I couldn't help but love his rebellious attitude. He just didn't seem to care about taking things so seriously, and just liked having fun. It was refreshing seeing that from an artist. I still remember the day that my sister drove me to Best Buy to purchase Tyler's second studio album, Wolf. Driving home, listening to the first song on the album, I flipped through the booklet and looked at all of the pictures and doodles that Tyler drew. It was a really good day. I still follow Tyler the Creator's music. I bought Cherry Bomb, I went to the concert. I love Flower Boy and his most recent project is my favorite project of his, Igor. Anyways, now that I've given you guys some background on me and my feelings towards Tyler and his music, I would also like to say that I do not think that all Tyler the Creator fans act or are the way that I'm about to describe them. I do, however, believe that there are a good majority of them that are. This is based off of people I have met and posts that I've seen online. So let's just get into it. Tyler the Creator has always said that you should be yourself. I mean, I know that most rappers give this advice to their fans, but when Tyler has, it has seemed the most genuine to me. This is what I find funny most about Tyler the Creator fans, is that they actually don't take Tyler's advice. Instead, they dress exactly like him, have the same interests as him, have the same opinions as him, and do not think for themselves. What bothers you? I hate, uh... I hate frauds and pretentious people and, like... I don't know. I hate people who's not comfortable with themselves. That scares me. You hate phonies? Yeah. I hate people who don't really like what they like. What do you mean? For, um, for example, like, it's, it's, uh, like, people who don't really, like, you don't really like that. You just, like, I, I've known people who like, only like stuff because either I like it or it's the cool thing to like or things like that, and that's, these people aren't comfortable with themselves. Thing to do. Like, yeah, like, like they'll base their opinion off someone else's opinion because they don't want to be like the odd man out. Like, that's what scares me. Man, I don't that, like that. Uh, that puts so much, like, dude, you don't like that goddamn shirt. Why did you wear that? Because it's the tight thing right now. Everything. But you know what I found that was kind of interesting? You get passionate when you say to kids, think for yourself. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we live in a society where a lot of people are followers and they can't, you know, make their set opinions. Like, I have friends going to college for stuff that their parents want them to go for, and they're not even happy or anything, but they're just trying to please them. And in the long run, like, I mean, what's, what's going to be there? Your parents, your parents die and you're just stuck there, like, <laughs> paying debt, paying debt for something that you didn't even want to learn in the first place. So I just try to tell people to just think for themselves and they'll be way happier in the long run. Yeah. I'll be real with y'all, I used to be this way. I bought one of these dad jackets at a garage sale just because I saw Tyler wear a jacket similar to it. Now, I'm not saying it's bad to dress just like him, I just think it's sad what I did with this jacket. I started to draw on the inside of this jacket only because Tyler did this in his. I didn't have any personal creativity, I just did what Tyler did. Now, this can be seen on the back of the Cherry Bomb poster. But at the time, I thought I was so creative and so original, but in all reality, I was just copying my favorite artist and not really being my true self. I mean, back in the day, during the bastard goblin era, I even would wear those horrid and cringy cat t-shirts just because Tyler did. I never thought the shirts were cool, I never thought they were funny, I just kinda did it, which is very sad. I think that following your favorite artist a little too much can stunt your own personal creativity and your own personal opinion. I remember seeing so many Odd Future fans back in the day saying things like, Hey bro, re Relapse is Eminem's best album if you ask me. It's so underrated. <laughs> <laughs> it was painfully obvious that they believed this. 
just because that's Tyler's favorite Eminem album. Also, don't even get me started on Tyler fans being obsessed with anything Pharrell has done just because Tyler loves him. Again, I'm not saying that it's bad to like Pharrell or Relapse, but I think it's dumb to act like you like these things just because your idol does. One of the more recent hot takes that Tyler has had that I've seen his fans echo and make as their own opinion is with his third studio album, Cherry Bomb. A few months back, Tyler was ranting about how Cherry Bomb gets no love. He went on to say that it's his favorite album of his. He also re-released it with the instrumentals. This led to many of his fans having this opinion all of a sudden. I just think that it's goofy to act this way. I think that more Tyler the Creator fans need to take his advice and really think for themselves. It's okay to be influenced by an artist, but I personally believe that it's kind of dangerous to just copy them and want to be them. A good example of this is Juice World. He said in an interview one time that Tyler is one of his biggest influences. When I first heard this, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it, because his music sounded totally different. But I realized that he was inspired by him and influenced. He created his own sound and style instead of just copying. I think another person that does the same exact thing is Travis Scott. Travis Scott has said that he is influenced by Kanye West and I think even more Kid Cudi. But Travis Scott does not make music like Kid Cudi. You can still see that influence within his music a tiny bit, but it's a completely different genre in its own right. Someone that just copies other artists' creativity is Logic. There are so many songs that sound just like another artist. Songs that sound like Kendrick Lamar, Kid Cudi, or even, most recently, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> I do not think that Logic's music will be timeless at all. It's going to age very poorly. With his last four albums, you can tell that there has hardly been any creativity, which is very sad. He has so much potential, and it's wasted by him copying other artists and other trends that are going on, instead of being himself. So, I'd like to close off this video by saying, be yourself. Take those that you idolize and let them inspire you, but not just be them or copy them. That's what stunts your creativity and your true potential. I know that most of you aren't like this, but those that are, look inside yourself and ask yourself, do I really like these things or am I doing them to impress those around me? Alright, enough of this corny speech. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace. Oh no. Oh no. Is he doing it? Oh no. Oh no. No. Not my ravioli. No. Enemy spotted. Not my ravioli. Oh, he don't like that ravioli. Yo, you ungrateful fam.